Annette Lagunas, HSOY Executive Director, and Nisa Sutton, Feline Friends Chairwoman, tour us through the Feral Cat Program at the Humane Society of Yuma on Saturday's Fall Festival. Jamie J, veterinarian technician at the Humane Society of Yuma, clears the airway of a convulsing post-operational feral cat at Saturday's Feral Cat Day Fall Festival. Veterinarian Bob Petty spays one of 88 feral cats brought in through the trap, neuter, and return program at the Humane Society of Yuma's clinic Saturday. Feral cat colony caregivers overlook the HSOY Fall Festival's free feral cat spaying operation through a viewing window Saturday. A black and white tuxedo pattern feral cat's head is held in the post-operative recovery room while an air passageway tube with an air passageway tube in its mouth. The Humane Society of Yuma spayed this feral cat for free on Saturday's Feral Cat Day and 19th of October Fall Festival. Feral Cat Day attracted 88 caged cats to the Humane Society of Yuma's fully funded trap, neuter, and return TNR program. 24 toweled covered cages stand in line for production line style processing in this single room while others wait outside. Saturday, the 19th of October, 2013. HSOY Veterinarian Technician Supervisor Victoria Sarab Sarabia injects a feral cat before removing her from the trap for a spaying operation on Saturday's fully funded trap, neuter, and return program for Yuma's wild feline population. Veterinarian Dr. Carney, seen through the public display window, spays one of 88 feral cats brought in for the day's fully funded trap, neuter and release, TNR Feral Cat Day program at the Humane Society of Yuma's clinic, Saturday, 19th of October, 2013. <laughs> Cat caregiver Kim Walsma captures her longtime feral friend for the Humane Society of Yuma's free fixing, shots, and ear mite remedy on Saturday, 19th of October, 2013. Walsma harbored a contagious ringworm condition many wild cats share with humans. Even a blind cat finds themselves trapped and neutered once in a while. This sightless, salved black cat endures dangers on the street and sniffed his way into this surgical situation. He's held down on a stainless steel table 
waiting in line behind his buddy for the Humane Society of Yuma's pre-op anesthesia gas mixture. Saturday, 19th of October, 2013. Volunteer Haley Gadbois anesthetized the preoperative black cat through a nose cone outside the operating room and the Humane Society of Yuma's Feral Cat Day neutering production line Saturday. The cat's color matching partner's belly is shaved to open clear veterinarian surgical access. Veterinarian technician Jamie J antiseptically swabs the unconscious kitty's belly to reduce operation infections. The Humane Society of Yuma performed 88 of the 130 offered and fully funded feral cat neutering procedures Saturday 19th of October 2013. A veterinarian Bob Petty prepares for another feral cat spaying operation as the cat lies on his stainless steel table piped with an airway maintenance anesthesia dose. Petty performs the procedures in 10 to 15 minutes and mentions his veteran veterinarian cohort slices through the cats at a faster rate. The Humane Society of Yuma, Yuma offered free neutering at this feral cat day event. Saturday, 19th of October, 2013. This green-eyed tuxedo cat sits caged in line for the Humane Society of Yuma's Feral Cat Day, TNR, Trap, Neuter, and Return, funded program, Saturday. Evidence of the release program's effectiveness in reducing noise, smells, and population problems over euthanasia efforts are demonstrated in the program's nationwide. H50, a 6.9 pound female black tuxedo colored post-operative female of feral cat lies on a towel with a maintenance anesthesia airway dose. H50's left ear is tipped to show she's been spayed at this Humane Society of Yuma, Yuma's free feral cat day, TNR. Trap, Neuter, Return program, Saturday, 19th of October, 2013. This tipped left ear cat lays blanketed and recovering in the post-operative room with a disconnected airway tube. The Humane Society of Yuma performs a production line style neutering of 88 feral cats in the fully funded feral cat day promotion Saturday, the 19th of October, 2013. Veterinarian technician Ricky Jimenez completes paperwork and attends post-operative feral cats while an interested caregiving boy peeks in on his kitty Kitty's production line progress. The Humane Society of Yuma performed 88 free fixings Saturday, 19th of October, 2013. A black trash barrel, toilet brush, and chlorine bleach water mixture sits outdoors to clean the feces covered in urine soaked cages that trap and hold feral cats. The Humane Society of Yuma cleans and cages 
for reuse and trapping and returning neutered feral cats. They offered free operations at Feral Cat Day, Saturday, 19th of October, 2013. Domestically, domesticating kittens of feral cats is possible before they learn to avoid and fear humans as our parents do. Children play with the gray and orange kittens in the Humane Society of Yuma's toy filled room on Feral Cat Day, Saturday, 19th of October, 2013. The shaved belly of, a, of the post scratching kitten reveals a recent neutering operation. The kitten's young age allows its domestication into a human household over older and wary feral cats. The Humane Society of Yuma maintains this playroom to facilitate prospective adoption. Saturday, 19th of October 2013. This orange and white bicolored cute kitten kitten's stare reveals the magnetic cat appeal that draws friends into his world. The Humane Society of Yuma opens this 4050 South Avenue 4.5E Yuma, Arizona Feline Playroom for prospective adoptions on Feral Cat Day. Saturday. The Humane Society of Yuma's 4050 South Avenue 4.5E Yuma, Arizona Open Door Entrance welcomes people to their fair weathered fall fest and feral cat day. Saturday, 19th of October, 2013. The light of a silver moon signals wild cats of the undomesticated night's nocturnal hour they dominate. Sunday estimates of 45,000 feral cats roamed the streets of Yuma, Arizona in 2009, appeared to be reduced since the effective trap neuter release program advocated by Alley Cat Allies and the Canadian Society of Yuma's efforts. A solid gray cat peeks behind Saguaro Cactus, late Saturday night, near the derailed saloon in downtown Yuma. The feral felines feast late past human partiers' hours. A clouder of cats sit in their automatically feeding and watering oasis. Many outfit in tuxedos at, at Treasures, 20, uh, 225 South Main Street, Yuma, Arizona, during Saturday night's festivities. Feral cat caregivers provide a stream of food and comfort. A young kitten couple, couple one, one attentively peering and the other comfortably resting, sees the night long after weary Saturday party goers leave. Sunday morning is owned by these feral cats at Yuma, Arizona's downtown derailed saloon. Two silhouetted feral cats sit parked on 2nd Street in downtown Yuma, Arizona, 
near Jimmy D's bar late after Saturday night party goers went home on this early Sunday morning. In 2009, estimates of one feral cat for every two Yuma citizens existed for a total of 45,000 roaming wild the street. Open alleyway dumpsters provide a viable food source for agile cats, able to enter and exit containers with ease. Smelly treats suck this hungry feral cat in to retrieve a tasty discarded morsels. On this 3rd Avenue alleyway near 2nd Street in Yuma, Arizona at 10 p.m. Saturday night. cat roams beneath a street light behind Yuma, Arizona's Little Caesars Pizza on this 4th Avenue and 8th Street alleyway late Saturday night. A bi-colored gray and white feral cat enters the 8th Street and 20th Avenue taco stand after closing hours at 1 a.m. Sunday morning. Scavenging along the ground and rummaging through open containers, this fit feline feeds at the market currently closed to people. A white feral cat sits comfortably by attorney John Minore's office, ready for a late Saturday night snack in Mr. G's fruitful dumpster. The tipped left ear indicates this wild feline has been spayed in the trap, neuter, return TNR program that reduces the cat population, noises, and smells among Yuma, Arizona community. The average lifespan for feral cats living on their own is under two years while those living in colonies or with caretakers can last up to ten. This flattened feline met its met in early demise beneath a vehicle crossing 5th Street toward Yuma, Arizona's Mr. G's restaurant Saturday night. Sergeant Leanne Worthen, YPD Public Information Supervisor, instructs the Animal Control Administrator administration, administrative person to duck when a request for Yuma Police Department animal control photo story images is made on Monday, 21st of October, 2013. The Yuma Police Department Animal Control Services administrative lady head pops back up laughing as her previously ducked and hidden image is captured. A request placed to Sergeant Leanne Worthen, the YPD Public Information Supervisor, Supervisor for Feral Cat Photo Story Images, Monday, the 21st of October 2013, went unfulfilled. Scavenging before the U Yuma Municipal Court on Sunday morning, a white and brown feral cat parades near the Yuma Police Department. 
Department's Animal Control Services Office recently tasked to manage the population. The YPD works in conjunc conjunction with the Humane Society of Yuma in providing cages and coupons for a, an effective trap, neuter, and return program. Neutered feral cats are identified with notched or tipped left ears. With Yuma, Arizona's iconic Ocean to Ocean Highway Bridge in the background, a feral cat colony attends an after party in the derailed saloon's food filled dumpster early Sunday morning. Stocking the rim of C&D disposal dumpster, a feral cat surveys its treasures before diving in for a Yuma, Arizona treat behind the derailed saloon early Sunday morning. A kitten well below Arizona's 21-year-old drinking age limit sits outside Yuma, Yuma's derailed saloon downtown waiting for bar scraps and taco stand treats early Sunday morning. A gray and white, a gray, white, and brown striped feral cat fights to escape the trap it finds itself captured in. Tuna tempted the wild creature in this 468 South Orange Avenue historic house in Yuma, Arizona, Monday night. Trap, neuter, return. Belly up to the bars.